What's up Rayquazers? It's been a long time since I did a random matchup video. And as you know, on these random matchup videos, I just kind of talk about whatever. Just, you know, fun stuff, lots of fun, cool stuff. As you can see, it's double match, which I don't do doubles that much, which is cool. Uh, but, let's see. Common question. Have any of you played Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance yet? And if so, let me know what you thought about it. Um, good parts, get bad parts about it. You know, I, I've been playing it myself. I kind of enjoy it. I do miss some parts about it, and I'll go into the parts I miss about it in the video, but yeah, we'll just go through the team preview pretty fast. It's a double match, and I have like, I believe two choice Pokemon, like I have a choice Bandit Azumaro, and then a choice Scarf Braveri, and then of course an Acrobatics, um, I forgot what that thing's called right now, wow, okay, this is why being tired's bad. And then a clean clean. Um, Archaeops, that's what it is. So, yeah, that's my, my that's my team. As you can see, my bonus team. And it was a random matchup, as you can tell. And before the battle actually starts, major thanks to Sheena World. You guys saw a new intro coming in when you start when the video started, and I'm sure you enjoyed a different thing. And it's a lot it's a lot more higher quality video than or intro than I can produce. Myself, some major, major thanks to Chino World for that. Make sure you go subscribe him. He's also another PokeTuber. He does other stuff as well, like he does some LPs and stuff. So definitely go check him out. That'd be really, really great, and I'd like you if you guys would do that. And so, I'm gonna just go ahead and start my spiel on Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance while we wait for the battle to start, and there it goes. So basically, Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance takes a uh, place after the events of Kingdom Hearts are Kingdom Hearts Coded, which t also takes place after the events of Kingdom Hearts 2, if you guys weren't aware. I mean, I'm sure you're, if you're a major Kingdom Hearts fan, you're following the series as closely as I am. So it's, basically, it's Riku and Sora are in the Mark of Mastery training because, uh, basically, Master Yen Sid wants them to be actual Keyblade Masters instead of just self-taught Keyblade wielders essentially is what he was thinking when he put them through the Mark of Mastery training. And the chronicle of the story will cover their Mark of Mastery training. A couple things, there are things called spirits that are your party members instead of like the Disney characters and all that. Um, and yeah, basically you raise them and all that and you create them and then you customize them how you want, give them lots of food to raise their stats and everything. And that is basically how you train up your party members. Of course you train up your your norm, your norm, main character, Sora or Riku, pretty fast. N normal like too. And you just go through these, I guess, seven sleeping worlds, something like that, is actually what they're called. It's the seven sleeping worlds. So you're going to be going through seven sleeping worlds, and that is basically how you're going to um, play through the story, essentially. The thing I miss about it is, you know, being able to walk around with the Disney characters or the Final Fantasy characters. Like in Kingdom Hearts 2, you had Orin as a party member, which was really, really cool. I like Orin in Kingdom Hearts 2. He's, he's pretty much the same Orin from Final Fantasy X, strangely enough. Like, same personality and everything, which is great. That doesn't always happen when it comes to the Final Fantasy versions of characters getting into the Kingdom Hearts series. So, yeah, like, I do miss that, and I also miss, it, there seems to be a high lack of weapon customization, like, there was, you can make different weapons, basically, for your main characters, but of course, since you're not going to be doing that much of that, honestly, you're going to be more doing making new spirits, making better, making new spirits better, and all that, that's what you're going to be doing a lot of in Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance, I do enjoy the gameplay, however, it's really great. I haven't fully beat it, but I plan to beat it fairly soon. And yeah, that's pretty much my entire spiel on Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. So we'll just go right into the battle. Weird thing I do is actually, uh, this time I'm actually giving it somewhat commentary on the random matchup. So basically, I was at this point, I was slightly afraid I was going to kind of lose. Because it wasn't looking that great, honestly, for me. I was, I mean, it was looking pretty sorry. And I was kind of afraid, not sure what was going to happen, and I was like, oh no, what's going to happen? I don't know, I'm so scared, blah blah. 
Um, so, I'm down to just Braveri and Clean Plane, while well, my opponent still has three Pokemon, which is just not good for me. And yeah, I'm gonna go for that return. I think I end up gaining up on the Blaziken, I believe, which I probably shouldn't have done. I probably should have not gained up on the Blaziken. Um, no, I didn't get up on the Blaziken. I thought Clean Plane would be able to take out the Blaziken, and I was dead, dead wrong. Which is sad, and I lose Clean Plane due to it, but oh well. Anyway, so we'll just talk about something different. Mostly, did you guys like the new intro? I hope you guys did, because Shino World worked hard on it. And, uh, yeah, it'd be very great if you'd go sub him. He's also another great YouTuber. Actually, like, one of my best friends on YouTube, honestly, too. So, definitely go sub him, as we are n rounding down this video, which this video gets kind of insane, kind of funny. So, I thought I lost, but I was like, oh, it's still a good battle, I can still upload. I mean, look at this, he's gonna go for the discharge, not get the paralysis. And I am going to somehow survive this discharge with 30 hit points. 30 freaking hit points. And then I'm going to Brave Bird, and since Rotom has pretty much the worst hit point stats ever, I'm going to live and win the match, and it's going to be great. He doesn't rage quit, so I get... There's a lot of rage quitters on random matchup. And that is pretty much, you know, random good, random talk on random matchup. Comment, like, and sub if you have not already, also, because that'd be very much appreciated. And if you guys could show me around, I'd also very much appreciate it. Go check out Shino World's channel, and I will see you guys later.